Hey, what is up YouTube? It is Carrie or Sidekick and welcome to Gamer Fitness number two. Yes, number two because I made number one like a year ago and didn't stick with anything. So uh, let's start over. I mean, I guess kind of it is number one, but yeah, it's going to be technically number two. Sorry that it's echoey in here. I still don't have any furniture. I mean, you can kind of see that, so... Sorry, it's not the greatest sound quality, but okay, so just moved up here. I got a nice little gym membership to Planet Fitness. I'm really loving Planet Fitness because it's a nice big gym. I didn't like where I worked at before, which was Snap Fitness because it was just too small. I felt like people were always watching me, even when there was hardly anybody there. It was just cramped. It's like the size of a closet. It's also kind of expensive. It was like $40 a month where Planet Fitness is 10 or 20, depending on which membership you want. I went with a $20 membership because I can bring someone. So since there's two people, you know, me and my boyfriend, I can take him with me. You can also tan, you can use the massage beds. Like it's pretty cool. I really like it. So that's why I went with the $20 membership, but that's like half the price of Snap Fitness and it's twice as big and they're staffed, which I like too. Makes me just feel a little bit more comfortable and all the machines are, you know, working and a lot of times when I go Snap Fitness stuff's broken because, well, there's nobody there to like fix the stuff. So I really like in the gym membership. Also just bought a bike not too long ago. I try to go on a bike ride at least twice a week and then I try to ice skate at least once a week and try to learn how to ice skate right now, which is just like a little bit of like cardio and stuff. So um, when I go to the gym, I usually do just about like 10 to 20 minutes of cardio. I try to run a mile. I'm trying to get more comfortable with running right now. I can run about a mile at five and a half miles an hour and it's sort of uncomfortable, but it's getting better. Uh, I am eating a little bit healthier. I'm eating actually gluten-free right now because I got diagnosed with celiac disease about a year ago and I, you know, I didn't really care at first, but you know, I was having a lot of problems. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I've been doing it for about three months now and I honestly don't see any difference yet, but I am gonna give it a little bit longer. I'm hoping that that will help me lose some weight. It's not like I think my weight number is like bad, but there's just a little bit of toning up I would like to do. And I've never been successful in the gym before. And I kind of wonder if maybe like my diet is limiting me a little bit by eating gluten when I'm actually allergic to gluten. So I figured I would go ahead and try that this time. I am noticing a big difference in my arms, not so much my abs, which is where I really do want to see progression, but I really do want nice arms too. So I do see some, I kind of actually wish I would have made this video a couple weeks ago because I have been working out for a few weeks and I do see some changes, which is good, but you know, that's what this video is for. So I can see my changes and hopefully want to keep working at it and going to the gym. So the only things I'm taking supplement wise is C4 50X. I, I like this one because I think it has like more niacin in it and more beta alanine, which are the two things that I look for in a pre-workout, I really liked the pre-workout I was taking before, but it's really hard to find. It was Spy Titan Nutrition, and I don't remember what it was called. I've looked it up, and like I can find it on their website, but I can't find anywhere to buy it. So uh, this was the closest thing I could find. And then the only other thing I'm taking for like post-workout is, and this stuff you can only get in St. Louis. I actually had this mailed to me, but Formula One, and it's just a whey protein. It tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is actually really gross because you mix it with water and it just tastes like watered down Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But I mean, I can take it, so you know. Some other things that I am using right now, which I do think are helping me that I had never used before is, so for my 25th birthday, my boyfriend got me this really cool watch. This is the TomTom Tom Spark. I like this watch a lot because well, I really wanted a GPS watch. That way when I go running outside or if I go on a bike ride, which I actually just bought a bike and it's nice. So I, I've been biking a lot lately. This tells me how fast I'm going. It tells me how far I go, you know, my pace. You can use it in the gym too. And it tells you it has a heart rate sensor in it. So it measures your heart rate. I really think this is cool. And one of the cool features on this though, is I don't have to carry my iPod anymore because this has an iPod in it. So I can store music on it and it wirelessly syncs to Bluetooth headphones, which is nice because now I don't have to be encumbered by a headset, you know, with wires and stuff. So that's nice. I actually used it for the first time in the gym today and it was really cool to not have to, you know, have wires. So the headset that I'm using right now, Unfortunately, Bluetooth headsets are kind of expensive, but I'm using the Samsung Level U. This was like $40 at Walmart, and it's not too bad. It goes around the neck. It, I can kind of feel it a little bit when I run, but I don't think it's terrible. I really do want to get a sport version, but unfortunately, all the sport versions I have found are getting up there in price. I really don't want to spend $100 on head set because I don't have good luck with headphones. I break them pretty easily for some reason. I don't know why because I don't feel like I'm hard on them, but I break regular headphones all the time. So I don't want to spend a whole lot. 
Like I said too, I did get a bike and I try to go on a bike ride at least twice a week. I also try to ice skate at least once a week, which I haven't actually skated in like a month. But uh, I might make some vlogs on that too. I'm actually kind of like learning how to ice skate because uh, I don't know, I've always wanted to and we just, I kind of lived far from ice rinks when I lived in Missouri and now there's one like 10 minutes away and so I just, I don't know, I think it's fun, it's kind of nice to just go relax but I feel a little bit loserish at times because I'm not exactly good and there's usually people there that are but you know, that's learning. Alright, so basically, my weight right now I think is 137. If I could even get down to 130, I would be happy. I've been trying to get to, down to like 120 for the past, I don't know, two, three, maybe even four years. I've always been 120, and then I took some antidepressants that weren't even for depression. I didn't even know that's what it was. I had no idea what the side effects were. Didn't look it up. So if a doctor prescribes you medicine, might want to look at these side effects. Yeah, one of those was weight gain, and I gained like 20 pounds, didn't notice it until it was all there, and now I can't get rid of it. So, like I said, I see some progression in my arms, but I really see nothing in my stomach so far, which is where I want to lose all of the fat. So, basically, this is what I look like now. I don't look terrible with clothes on, but there are some things we can fix, so. From the front, Things I would like to fix are just a little bit of a love handle that I have. <laughs> and same thing right here. I think it looks worse to me than it does to other people, but I don't ever want to wear tight shirts because of this, so... Now, for arms, this is going to be a little bit harder to show, I think, but I don't know. So, not flexing. Flexing. I can definitely, definitely see bicep coming on there, which is nice. I really do want triceps, though, which, I mean... I'm getting a little bit of them. I guess it might be a little easier to like... No, I don't know. It's hard to flex them like this. That's really what I'm wanting, which is starting to kind of come along. This, I don't know if that's your deltoid. Wow, it's really hard to like do this backwards in the camera. The deltoid or if that's like tricep, but I really do want nice arms. So, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to see a little bit there, which is... Which is nice, but uh, the abs are still kind of not coming along so well. So I only do about 10 minutes of cardio. I pretty much just run about a mile. I'm trying to get a lot better with cardio though because I hate cardio. So I would like to be able to run, I don't know, probably at least a mile and a half comfortably. I don't know how fast right now I can run a mile at five and a half miles an hour kind of comfortably. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's not miserable. So that's where I'm at right now. I guess I'll update you guys, or myself, because uh, this is pretty much for me, but in, I don't know, a few weeks, month, maybe. I don't know how often I should do these, I don't, because I don't know how fast you're supposed to progress in the gym, and unfortunately, I don't have, like, a personal trainer or any really buff friends that know what they're doing, so I don't know, I'm just going to try to figure it out on my own, so anyway, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you guys later.